What's up guys, I'm Dominic. We are here at the nursery again today and I wanna share with you guys a really cool plant combination that is drought tolerant and just bulletproof and something that you can just rely on day after day, time and time again and you can essentially almost like copy and paste it into any single garden scenario where you need a drought tolerant look. So let's take a closer look. Ready, set, go. All right, so the reason why I've selected these plants right here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, these 10 plants as the, the bulletproof plant palette. First of all, whenever I design a garden, I like to design for height, color, and texture variation. So those three elements working together really create dynamic interest in the garden. So we want to have that, that layered type of look where you have a background, a middle ground, and a foreground. And so that's what we have here is plants that are taller and plants that are shorter for more foreground. And so we also have color variation, limey greens, there's some kind of chartreuse, there's medium greens, there's uh, you know darker, almost bronzy tones, there's some orange and blues, and, and just it's kind of just a really cool combination of contrasts that play off each other. And then finally we have texture. You can see like for instance, we have a really bold leaf of this agave attenuata. And we might place that uh, right behind a blue fescue. And what that does, it just creates that, that contrast of something that's very bold and then a texture that's very fine. So when you have those in close proximity to each other, it creates that contrast, which ultimately creates interest and focal points in the landscape. Now that we've covered height, color, and texture variation, we wanna look at watering needs. Plants have to be within the same watering need for the most part in the same landscape because obviously you're going to irrigate it whether it be spray or drip or hand water or whatever and so therefore you don't want to have plants that are going to be really thirsty next to plants that don't like a whole lot of water because one of them is going to suffer either you overwater one or underwater the other so you really want to have plants that work together within the same watering requirements also take a look at sun and shade requirements. This is a full sun plant palette. So they're gonna want at least five to six hours of full sun each day. They thrive on the sun. They need that constant daylight and that's what's gonna make them thrive and be vibrant. All right, so first let's take a look at this big guy behind me right here. This is Dodonea viscosa purpurea. I actually did a video on that uh, not too long ago, so if you're interested in uh, more details on it, check out that video. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So this just creates a really nice background element in the landscape. It's gonna screen property lines. Um, it's gonna give uh, maybe a privacy hedge. So it's gonna get taller, about 12 to 15 feet. And here's the cool thing, you could even prune it up into a small accent tree. Now, next to it right here, this is Rosemarinus officinalis or we could just call it rosemary. And it's another background shrub. It's gonna get about four to five feet tall. And it's just kind of a cool anchoring shrub in the garden, dark green to medium green foliage. And it does have a purple color bloom on it. So very nice plant that you're gonna to wanna to use maybe adjacent to a wall that you need some height under a window or something. And then next to it, we have salvia hot lips. And this is a really cool plant because of its uh, funny little flower color. It has a reddish, like a lipstick color almost, and then it has like a little bit of a tinge in the white in the middle on some of the flowers. It's really unique, very interesting. And uh, hey, by the way, it's a cool Valentine's Day gift, guys, pay attention. It's gonna get about four, pushing five feet tall by about five feet wide. And again, it's gonna be just a nice anchoring shrub in the garden, it's gonna give some height and uh, has a little bit of a textural contrast from the rosemary and the dodonea. That's again gonna be towards the background of your landscape. Now, as we move forward into what I'm gonna call the middle ground of the landscape, again, remember we wanna create those layers, right? So uh, let's check out the agave attenuata or foxtail agave. This is a really neat succulent. It's pretty common, great plant. It's hardy, bulletproof, and super, super drought tolerant and it has that really bold leaf. It's gonna get up to about four to five feet tall and wide. So next to it, we have Westringia fruticosa morning light. 
or variegated coast rosemary. I really like it because it has such a, a fine texture to the leaves. And again, that's a nice contrast to, let's say, the agave, the aeonium. It's just a nice finer texture that uh, really complements the other plants in the combination here. It's gonna get about two and a half, three feet tall, and it does have a small little flower on it, which is nice. Now, next to it right here, Dianella Casa Blue. And I really love this plant because it has multiple uses. You can plant it as a single specimen and it just creates a nice accent, or you can plant it in masses for a super dramatic effect. And it's gonna get about two and a half feet tall by about two feet wide, stays upright. And again, it's uh, just a different texture from the other plants here. All right, so now let's move into our foreground. Next to me, we have Festuca glauca or blue fescue. This plant is really cool. Uh, because again, like the Dianella, you can use it as a single specimen or you can plant it in masses for a really neat effect. And it could actually even be a cool lawn replacing plant. If you plant, uh, you know, 30 or 40 or 50 of them together, it kind of creates that meadow-like sort of, you know, mounded grass type of effect. And, and it's really, really neat. And it does have a really cool wheat-like bloom. So that's a neat little added bonus to the blue fescue. And right next to the blue fescue, we have Aeonium atropurpurium. And I really love this little succulent because, I mean, talk about color contrast. It has it within the plant. How cool is that? So you have the surrounding more mature growth as this really cool bronzy, almost purpley color. And then, you know, towards the middle, you have a really fun contrasting limey green. So just within this plant right here, we have awesome color contrast. So you can use it in the foreground, you can use it in the middle ground. I would say it's a little bit more of a middle ground plant than it is a foreground plant. But I have it in a small one gallon size right here, so I just put it in front of the other plants. So there you go. And right next to it, we have another succulent. This is Crashula Campfire. And it is definitely a plant that lives up to its name because this thing looks like it's on fire. Again, these, these multi-tones within the plant itself, you have kind of a limey green in the center. And then the older, more mature growth is uh, kind of an orangey red tinge around the perimeter of the leaf. And it's just such a super cool dynamic plant. It just kind of creates this fiery sea effect. It's really, really cool. One of my favorite plants. And last but definitely not least, right next to the Crashula, Tenecio serpens commonly known as blue chalk sticks. And I really love the Senecio. I've used it in so many landscape designs. It's just such a hearty, wonderful bulletproof plant that just performs time and time again. I just love it. All right, so there you go. This is one of my bulletproof full sun plant combos. If you guys do decide to use some of these plants, leave me a note. I'd love to know if they have worked out great for you guys. And if you're on YouTube, do that like and subscribe thing. And if you haven't been to the website yet, go to budgetplants.com where you can actually buy these and get much more information on these plants and many, many others. We've got so many other cool videos. Check it out. And of course, in the meantime, happy planting.